And hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to tell you a brand new video for Tutorials GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on GIMP and how to create your own custom YouTube video thumbnail. Now you can do this in other programs such as Photoshop or Paint as well even, or even some other third party online websites that also have an image editor. However, we're going to be using GIMP today since this is a pretty popular program, it's free, and a lot of people have it. So, before we can even begin to talk about designing a video thumbnail, you first have to realize that you need to qualify for custom video thumbnails first. And the way you qualify for custom video thumbnails is you can check if you qualify by going to your profile here, and then going to YouTube over here, go to my channel. After that, you want to go to video manager and you want to go down to channel and here you, you'll see all the features that are available to your channel specifically now if you go to custom thumbnails here right now I have a green circle however you will probably have a gray circle and it will make you verify your account so in order for you to get custom thumbnails in order for you to be able to have access to this feature you need to first verify your account and usually there will be a button here somewhere on the right side where it says verify your account now and when you click this button it will usually tell you to enter a phone number or to enter an email address or to enter some sort of verification so that you can have access to the feature now if you want to know more about video thumbnails there is a great uh, YouTube help article here that I'll be linking in the description that basically uh, shows you how you can upload them as well as giving you size the policy as well as showing you how to verify in fact uh, it even gives you a link right here you can click verify and if you're verified then this will pop up if you're not verified then it will ask you for verification so if you need more information then I'll definitely read all of this on this page right here but for now if you have this completed, you now have access to custom thumbnails. If you have this green button, or if you have just done it right now. So after you, you have, after you are aware and you know that you have access to custom video thumbnails, now the design part comes. So we're gonna go up, go into GIMP, and you want to make sure that you create a new document. And one thing you want to be aware about is that video thumbnails are 1280 by 720. So you want to make all your video thumbnails this size. If you make them bigger, then they may not fit the aspect ratio of the video thumbnails. If you make them smaller, it probably won't even let you upload it. So make sure that your video thumbnails are 1280 by 720 pixels for best result. Now, you can make um, thumbnails several ways. You can you can leave it white like this and you can just uh, type random text here I'm not even sure if I spelled that correctly but oh we did so you could just leave it like this if you wanted to get a really uh, bland uh, bland thumbnail but what you can also do is you go on Google Images and you can type in thumbnail background and there are several really cool thumbnail backgrounds here I like I like this one specifically this one looks really cool and you can right click save image as and we'll just call this green colors and you can then open it in here you can either drag it in or you can go to file open and then just open the image and most of these are already in uh, 720 I mean 1280 by 720 if they're not you can um, position them the way you'd like like so so we're actually gonna position it right there, that's fine and then you could add whatever text you want or whatever images you want and that's pretty much it how you do it very simple and after you're done with this, you're going to go to File, Export, uh, Desktop, and then you can go ahead and name this. We're going to name it Custom 
thumbnail.png. You can save it as JPEG as well if you'd like. I just use PNG a lot. And if you wanted to use this video thumbnail now for your YouTube videos, while you're uploading while you're uploading your video, in fact, let's upload a quick a video that I probably have in here already. So if I wanted to upload this video right here, you'll see at the bottom here we have custom thumbnail. You can now click this and you can now go to type in your thumbnail. It will now upload and when it's finished uploading if it ever, okay, there you go when it finishes upload this is now your thumbnail and that would basically be it another way you could do this as well I'm gonna cancel this upload real quick because uh, we already have this video on another channel another way you could do this is go into video manager and you could click let's remove this real quick you can also um, click on edit in your uh, the video you want to add a thumbnail to and as you can see here you can add a custom thumbnail as well you can do the same process these are the presets that YouTube gives you you want to add a custom one you go click custom thumbnail here and you could do the same thing and it will upload there and then all you have to do is click save changes at the bottom and you would have your custom thumbnail now you'll notice that my thumbnails that I use for my videos specifically uh, have a template and a specific style to it. As you can see, all my videos have the uh, red, the red header on top with the title of the video or the main idea of the video at the top in yellow and white letters, as well as what we're talking about, the logo of it, usually in the right corner. Now, if you wanted to create a template such as this, one thing that you could easily do is create a template such as the one that I have here, which I'm going to open up right now for you guys. As you can see, I have a transparent background here, which will basically serve as the uh, screenshot that I take or any image that I want to put in the background here as a layer. And then I have all of my logos here. So in case if I'm doing an After Effects video, I can just um, click the eyeball on here. If I'm doing a League of Legends video, I click the eyeball on here. I also have my red header here. And I also have several different titles. If I'm doing a League of Legends video, a how-to video, a Guild Wars 2 video, I can just easily select these. And then I can easily change the text here. I can easily change the text here to something else versus... And I can easily just move it around again. And you can do this for your own. You can make your own template like this. And then all you have to do is go to File, Save As, and you want to save this as an XCF so that it is once again able to basically reopen itself with all the layers here. Otherwise, if you save it as through exporting, you'll basically merge all the layers down. So then what you could do is reopen this file and you can just add a picture. If I wanted to you know, add a picture of my window right now I just press the print screen button the PRTSC button on your keyboard it should be somewhere next to the somewhere near somewhere near your backspace key or near your F12 key and all I have to do is uh, paste control V make it a new layer and drag it all the way down underneath everything else and then I have my background for the thumbnail and that could be that obviously it doesn't look that good because you know, it's it's basically just the same thing. But that's basically how you make your own template. You can make your own template like this. And all you have to do is just open it up once again after, your, after you make a new video. You just open it up, change a few things around in the image, and then it'll be very easy. You don't need to constantly make new thumbnails and save them and basically start from scratch. So that's one method that you could do this. And you basically start the same way. You just go to File, New, 1280 by 720, and then you just start creating... Uh, things that you want in your thumbnail to be consistent for every single video uh, This is what's consistent for all of my videos. I always have the red header on top. I always have the uh, The um, title of the video in the center here with one word with one word basically highlighted in yellow Which is more important than the other words and then I always have the uh, logo here so I have all my logos there, and then I usually have several different titles depending on what video I'm doing.
So hopefully you understand how to create your own thumbnails, how to create templates for your own thumbnails, and how to gain access to the custom thumbnail feature on YouTube. If you have any other questions or have some problems or are running into errors and you can't really upload your thumbnail or something's going wrong, leave them in the comments. I'll definitely be here to help you. And hopefully many of you will now see that thumbnails are actually a really cool thing to design because it makes your videos a lot more tractable. You know, sometimes YouTube doesn't give you the right thumbnail part of your video and it brings a lot more attention to your videos as well as making it look a lot more professional. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.